feeling happy about being qualified for the Olympics, um, but um, yeah, maybe I'm gonna like kick someone's uh, chins or whatever. But um, for me, the Olympics are very exciting and it's really big, but it's not that oh, my whole life has been around them. So I'm really happy I can go, I'm looking forward to it. Um, of course, it was my goal to qualify. Um, yeah, but if I wouldn't have succeeded, that would have sucked, but still good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is an interesting one. Um, in the Netherlands we have to qualify by finishing top six in the WTS race on Olympic distance. And normally we would have five chances to, to pick a race where we want to qualify. Um, in 2019 I finished seventh in like seven seconds in Yokohama. So, but at that moment I, I did not even know that I would ever be able to, to get that close. So. Then everyone in the Netherlands was like, oh no, you just missed it. And I was like, yeah, but I finished seventh, so that's so good. Um, but then in 2020, when the pandemic did not start yet, um, of course, it was my goal to qualify. I knew it would be possible. Um, but then all the races got cancelled. And in Hamburg, which was continued at the end, um, and Califi Ferry, um, yeah, I was top six and top three. Um, so we send an email to like our uh, yeah Olympic committee in the Netherlands because it was not a WTCS race and it was not Olympic distance what well, Califari was but Hamburg was not so they had to make a decision about that um, and I thought yeah they, they should just be okay with it because maybe there are not even gonna be any races before the Olympics yet um, but it took quite a lot of time to like them thinking and talking about that um, and then I got the email that I was qualified but I was not allowed to tell it yet <laughs> so internally I was very happy but I could not share it with anyone so that was a bit weird so when I finally could like put it on Instagram and tell everyone I, I did pop a bottle for that. Yeah, well, dreaming is, is maybe a big word, uh, as I said before. Um, but I think in 2019, when I was close to, to our qualification criteria, um, I thought, okay, maybe I'm just gonna do it in the next race. Um, I messed up Bermuda, I had some problems with my bike in there, but I was in the first group again, and I thought, okay, I, I, I might be able to get the top six here. Uh, so that didn't work there. Then in Yokohama, I was really close. Um, so I think at that moment I was I was pretty certain that it should be possible to to qualify. Ooh, good question. I think the one that's like stick with me the most um, is when I was watching uh, Lucy Hall in London. Uh, I remember that I thought I might swim like on her level. That would be awesome. Then I would be there as well. And she is young in, in London with the Olympics then. So I think that's the, the, the most, yeah, most clear memory I have. Um, yeah, for the Olympic Games in preparation, I did not do, wanted to do a lot different than I used to do. Um, so last year I went to my first altitude camp in Fontvermeu, Bocquera, which is where we are now. Um, so I decided to just come back here this year and yeah, just continue what I was doing. Uh, only with the heat, we will try to like do stuff with it, try to like search for some heat, but definitely here it's not, it's not that warm. Um, so maybe if I go back to the Netherlands, I will just try it in like a hot room or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so in a test event in 2019, I uh, had an accident like maybe a month before that race. I think just before the race in Edmonton, I was uh, not hit by a car, but a cyclist was like getting out of the way for a car and he hit me. Uh, so I ended up on the, on the streets uh, and my back and yeah, especially my back really hurt at that time. And I wanted to race, I, I tried to race, I 
finish the season, but all the races were messed up. Like on the bike when I had to push over 250 watts, it just started to cramping. And yeah, in Tokyo test event that just happened. I, I had to, yeah, I had to quit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do this year is just not fall, <laughs> not get hit by anyone, just stay on my bike. Yeah, um, I liked, I li like that that's, that's not the good word. I hated the pandemic, but I liked the time of racing. Um, I missed racing, but I also liked that I could just like set my own goals. Um, so I did some time trials for myself on the bike. I set some five and 10K runs. I wanted to run fast. Um, so I kept myself motivated by that and just really enjoying like going on adventures on the bike. So. Uh, just being happy with the training. Um, yeah, I think bike skills and strength might definitely be of impact in the Tokyo race. It's a quite technical course, a lot of corners, and always out of the corner you have to push on your bike. Um, so I think it's gonna be tough on the legs, um, which I like, uh, yeah. The Olympic distance races are like more than the short stuff because it's more technical, technical and yeah, it's just you have to be good on the bike. It's just an hour bike riding. So um, I, I really like that. And I think in, in Tokyo that, that might happen as well, like attacking corners or yeah, just like in Tokyo test events, the group became smaller and smaller and smaller, of course, also due to a bad crash, but also just because it was tough. So that might happen as well in, uh, in this Olympics. Yeah, for the technical parts in, in Tokyo, I'm, I'm not preparing specifically. I, I never really did that before races. Um, but yeah, I, I worked a lot on my corners and technical things on the bike years before. And I'm just continuing to do that every time again and every time I step on my bike it's a new practice day and every corner is a practice uh, but I'm not gonna maybe if I could have like have a very very big parking lot or whatever I could set up like the whole course but uh, I did not do that and <laughs> I definitely won't do that oh that's a good question the woman I will keep an eye on um, yeah, of course, definitely. Flora Duffy, Jessica Learman, Georgia Taylor-Brown. Um, I think Katie might be back in her games. Uh, I know she's here as well and hope she's doing well. Um, yeah, let's see. I, I think this is the usual suspects we normally have, um, but it's an, Ol an Olympic distance, so it's a bit longer swim. Uh, it's a non wetsuit swim, which is also better for the good swimmers, less for less for swimmers. Uh, technical bike course is gonna be tough, but it's gonna be hot, um, and I'm not sure some, like how I will feel about that, and I'm not sure how like other athletes will feel about that. So yeah, there might be surprises. Yeah, the team relay. I, I think it's nice. It has been added to the Olympic Games. Um, but still, triathlon is an individual sport, and even the relay, although it's a team thing, you're still doing your own triathlon. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, I think it's just nice to have more triathlon on the Olympic Games. Um, yeah, and with our team, uh, we will see. We had some some nice uh, races, but we also had like not so good races. Um, yeah, but we know Rachel had a had a bad year last year and. Maybe our boys did not respond like very good to the non-racing period. Um, yeah, and I think we're, we're, we're just fired to be good at the Olympics. Wow, um, I would be very happy to finish top 10 in the Olympics. It, it's gonna be my first Olympics, uh, it's gonna be hot. Um, and yeah, it is a course that, that, that fits me, I think. It's a non to swim. It's it's technical, te uh, technical bike, um, but I, I would be very happy with the top 10 finish. And of course, I will try to, to get higher, but um, for top 10, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Mm -hmm.